my name is Anna. Um, yes, that's my name. About six months ago or so, me and my friend Marcella decided to buy this guitar kit. And this is this is the video. This is the video of that. Some background, Marcelo is a music producer. I've talked about him before. And I went up to his house because we were working on a video uh, to release his newest album. Go check it out. Again, yeah, this is the video. Yes. Anyway, and we were like, I really want, I was like, I really want to buy a guitar. And he's like, oh my God, me too. So what we decided to do was like, okay, let's do this. Let's get this guitar kit. And if they suck, they both suck, you know, and that's what we based it on. So from the beginning to the end of making the guitars, we had no idea what each other's guitars were turning out to be, what they look like. The only thing we knew from the beginning was the colors we kind of wanted to get because we talked about that before. So, yes. Part one. Uh, okay, first we got the guitars. Great. Point one. Second, we unboxed. Actual second, we got materials. This is me getting materials. Oh, whoop de doop de paints. Oh my god, sandpaper. Oh, that shit's fire. Ooh. And yes, now the rest. Anna, you dumb. Second, we unbox. Okay, so when I decided to start building the guitar, I had my friend Mari Suda here. If you don't know her, how do you not know her already? She is an amazing singer, songwriter. She is just incredible. I'm gonna leave all her stuff everywhere. I made her first music video. So she stayed here over for a weekend and it was amazing. So she helped me. As you can see, she was super excited to build this guitar. <gasps> Whoa, that was insane. Oh my God. Teach me. Dun dun da. <gasps> oh my god. So cool. A little strat body. That's so cute. Where the electrical things are gonna be. Mm hmm They come off the back. The guitars you the strings you put them from the back. Okay. I didn't know that. I'll show you. I know the strat. I had a strat that was my first guitar. I didn't build it. It was a real strat that came. This bitch did not just call my guitar fake. I will unleash violence. I don't know what that is, but... Wummy bar is like... Oh, so it the wow. Uh -huh, it, it lifts this up. Mm -hmm. So you have the strings, and when you lift it up, it just is like... Uh -huh. So, day one. Basically, the plan was to sand it. It came with this kind of varnish on the wood already, and I was like, nah, I need to sand this bit so I can put some primer on. So we... That happened. So guys, we're painting my guitar today. She's gonna help, and Maddie's gonna help as well. My dog. And my brother's making noise. While she's working, because we're not doing anything, <laughs> we're gonna get the place where we're gonna where we're gonna paint. Yes. Yep. I wanna help. And you work. Okay. Yeah, you do that. I do this. Yeah. Okay. Woo. What? No, 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 no. Que aquí tiene que estar bien pegadito. It it is. Your video's gonna be gay. Oh no, gay. Oh no. Oh no! Hi, I'm gonna be taking the uh, spray paint. The spray paint. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna be taking the uh, spray paint approach to this uh, whole thing. It's a technique that's been passed uh, down my family for Jenner. Just kidding, I watched the 90 minute, I mean a 9 minute video and I'm really hoping it sticks. Basically, a rundown of the process would be uh, sanding it, putting primer on it, painting it, and then applying some sort of clear coat or varnish. So yeah, not, not that this needs a lot of work, since when I open this, the wood already is in a good state, uh, but there is something about it which is it already has some sort of finish to it, and I'll, I'll put in some close-ups so you can see. But um, if you want to paint or put primer over it, you should remove or sand that finish off. So that's what I'm gonna start by doing. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit when this is sanded. All right, so. It's pretty uh, well sanded. I got rid of some, um, some, some of the imperfections. 
the guitar Tap. body came with, and now I think it's it's ready for some primer. Tap. So we're gonna start doing that. Spank. At least applying the first layer. What's up? Oh, she was looking smooth. She looking fine. Great. Next, it was time to paint it. Okay, so that's it. We've made two coats, and uh, now we need to go because we have a dinner tonight. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Ah! It looks great in white, but I really want to put that, like, the bluish color. Marcel, I don't know how you're doing, but I hope you're doing well. Good luck. Okay, so, I got the primer. I changed shirts because I don't want to ruin that golf shirt. And, shake. I got this hung on this, like, weird, majiggy thing. Majiggy. On the ceiling, and I'm hoping... Really hoping everything goes well. I've never done this in my life. So let's uh, see how this goes. Hope you're not to get any drips. <gasps> no, I see some drips. Fuck. No, I see some drips. Okay. Yes. Hurrah. Here we go. Is this clear primer? Questioning life choices. Should I put more? It's white. No, it's not drippy. It seems pretty solid. Uh, I'm gonna let this rest for not for a day, but like overnight, and uh, we'll check back in the morning and uh, see how it is. Spin, spin. Pretty. Okay, the coat of white, it is done! Primer, it's done! What? 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 Good morning, it's uh, the day after, and as you can see, the primer has fully set. It's completely dry. I chose this color, I don't know if you can uh, see it. Beauty Guru. But basically it's like this orange crushy, like, like the same orange in the um, amps, like the orange amps. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Struggle. Come on, man. There it is. Here we go. I'm uh, completely terrified, and I hope it goes well. So here we go. Eyes of fear. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So there's already <laughs> some drips. Okay, so that's how it looks. It's real nice. I don't know if the camera's really picking the color up as it is, but it looks really nice. 100%. Oh, there's a It may be, you, you won't tell with the varnish. I hope. Hello. We're not having a great day, or a great week, or a great time, but I still want to build my guitar and I still want to keep that going so that's, that's what we're gonna do so today we're going to start the paint job I got my my thing on all the way to my shoes and we're gonna paint I thought I said this in one of my little vlogs of being very depressed uh, I did not go with the spray paint approach like Marcelo did which I feel like his uh, approach was way smarter because all the videos I also saw on YouTube were definitely like spray paint. But I use this rolly rolly thingy, so enjoy that. Okay, here we got the first coat on this side. You can obviously see there's a few marks that aren't perfect and stuff. First of all, we're painting with one of those things. Second of all, this is just the first coat. We're gonna have like this first one, sand it again, another one, see how it goes, maybe another one, we don't know, and then varnish, and then looks pretty. I'm probably gonna hang it up now. 
where it was before here and uh, maybe paint the back side and just leave it uh, and it should be about I need to wait four hours until the next coat so see you in like four hours Boop. okay see yeah that's kind of the color that we have so far and I feel like when you look at this color right and you look at this color for some okay for some reason I feel like that like looks a lot like lighter that's what I wanted, and this is gonna look a lot darker. And like on camera, it doesn't. That's what an it's annoying me. But I can see it's starting to dry, and the places that it's starting to dry, I can see. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow is the last day of doing all of this, where we are going to varnish it. Woo! Varnish. <laughs> yeah, but that's what we're going to do. So. Hello again. So you remember when I said the uh, texture was a bit flaky? Uh, after the first coat of primer. Well, I, I'm starting to notice that uh, after that uh, first paint coat, it's uh, not coming off. And I don't think that's a good sign. So, um, what I'm going to do is basically sand it with about 100, 100 no, uh, 1000 grit uh, to remove any imperfections. I'm going to put in some drool so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But there's like this little flakiness. And I think that's coming off because uh, I'm, maybe I'm painting it a little too directly. Definitely a little too directly now that I'm looking at it. Uh, so I might be trying a new, um, a different setup, maybe outside and a little less standoffish like this because I'm way too close. Um, so yeah, I might. I might do this here, but just a little less directly. Sand. Sand. Still sanding. Wipe it. Good smooth guitar okay hello i'm on my way to my grandpa's house and we're gonna get this cut i have printed out these 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 thingy to to make it look like how i want it and we're gonna cut it okay end of part one Guitars are basically ready for clear coat. And that's what's gonna happen on part two, clear coat and mounting, and then we're finally gonna show each other what the guitars look like. And before you go, here's my big frog that my friend gave it to me, and he's so cute, so stay for the next part. Okay, bye! Do you think people will watch part two? Do you think so? Sometimes I wonder if it was the right call to make it too part, but gotta respect democracy. Have a great week because this is out on Monday. Have a great week and um, and stay tuned for next week, which uh, will be the second part of this video. And I'm going to try and post every Monday from now on. So get excited about that. And if there's any type of video that you would like to see me do, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to try stuff. So. Send them over! Send them over! Send all of them over! That was weird. <laughs> okay! Bye!